hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i am going to be bleaching these knots i purchased this wig off amazon i've already plucked it and i'm just going to get straight into it i won't be putting details on this wig because the company was not professional okay <laughs> so starting out i got my bowl my spatula got my conditioner got my 40 volume, volume developer got my bw2 and then i have some um brass off um blue shampoo and then blue dye and then of course my neutralizing shampoo so starting out i am basically putting about two scoops now i had to do like a science experiment with this one um i'm testing out this um blue dye and honestly it works so i'm basically you know just eyeballing it first just doing my normal you know routine where i put two and a half, one and a half scoop couple of um you know drops of that 40 value volume developer and then i'm just you know eyeballing this dye um what this does is basically it does that toning the knots before i even add on the blue shampoo so it's like a, a pre poo if you want to say like it's helping the knots get a little bit more translucent so that way by the time i do the um brass off shampoo which is the blue shampoo it'll already be like halfway you know like clear it's like the knots will be invisible um you don't have to do this this is pretty much optional but honestly i was just testing it out i saw a tiktok video of this i did it first and then i am basically trying it out for myself because i mean i honestly feel like why not there's there's actual um bleaching powder that is blue already um that comes like this but i just wanted to do it myself so i just basically kept adding powder and volume developer 40 volume developer until it got to the perfect consistency so you always want to start with the back of the knots first because those are the more um those knot are, knots are a little bit tougher to bleach so you want to start there first and um then you work your way to the front i'm pretty sure you've seen tons of videos like this but if you haven't i am here to help <laughs> start from the back first always and then work your way up to the front um and press lightly but you know you could put a little pressure on it don't be scared to make you know feel like you're not pressing hard enough or you're not getting that bleach in there um just you know add a little pressure it won't it won't make it or break it honestly if you do get too much bleach on there it's no nothing that no shampoo or anything can fix so moving on um i basically put this aluminum foil inside of it just to allow the bleaching process process to speed up a little bit and then once i added that in there i set my timer to about 25 minutes and what you want to do is allow gravity to do the work so you don't want to lay it on its back you want to lay it on its like the front part like i did just there and then i set my timer to 25 minutes um and then let it sit so honestly it lasted almost like 20 minutes and then i had five more minutes left and i just want to show you guys how it was looking so far and so far so good those knots are bleaching really really well and um it's not looking super brassy as if you know like if i wasn't so if i wasn't to put the blue dye in there then it probably would look a little bit more brassy than it does now but simple fact that i did put the blue um, dye in there it wasn't as brassy as it was you know if i wasn't so you guys already know rinse that out with i did cold water um what that does is just seals seals it in i don't like to use hot water anymore um you know like if you wash your hair you want to rinse it out with cold water just to make sure everything is nice and sealed in there so make sure you thoroughly rinse off that bleach and then we're going to neutralize it and what the neutralizing process does is basically help to lock in what we just bleached um and then stopping the bleaching process neutralizing means stop so we definitely want to make sure that this these knots are not bleaching any further so we're just going to scrub it in and honestly it helps with you know like making sure that you don't have any shedding or anything like that so i basically went ahead and neutralized those knots um rinsing it out again with man i think that was like lukewarm water it wasn't cold and then we're gonna move on with the rest of the process so
So next we are starting on the blue shampoo. And as I mentioned on my last video that the blue shampoo basically cancel out orange. So we have a little bronziness, but not as much as the last video. The last video, it was overly bronze. Like it has so much orange and over bleaching that I just couldn't, couldn't get. <laughs> I had to do a blue shampoo probably like two times, but nonetheless, this time using the, you know, blue um, dye, it actually helped. So I kept this on for about two minutes and then once the two minutes was up, it actually looked really, really good. Nonetheless, as you guys can see, here's the timer. Two minutes are up and then we're just going to get ready to wash this out. Now, I washed this out with warm water. Um, I kind of like change the temperature just depending on, you know, the hair and how it's looking. So, yeah, I had rinsed that out really, really good and then it turned out really good nonetheless. And as you can see, look at that, no orange at all. Um, I'm just showing you guys in between the scalp and things like that. Um, and how it's looking, you don't see any orange. It's just looking like somebody's scalp. <laughs> and um, after I did this, I basically conditioned it and that was pretty much it. And I rinsed it out one more time after I was finished just to make sure that um, that conditioner was out so as you guys see that this wig is giving very much scalp honey okay and um i had so much fun recording this video honestly i was like learning so much i felt like see the science kid okay <laughs> um i hope that you guys learned something as i said um and enjoyed it as well please feel free to check out my other videos on how i install wigs and things like that if you're new here please feel free to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like and comment on this video and as i always say nevertheless never stress always bless okay bye